Hello my beautiful Pisces dragons, welcome to your reading for September 2021. I have pulled out three cards for overall energy. And what they are is we've gotten Yang, Treasure Island, and Go the Distance. So I feel like you're really starting to come into um, a more fiery... Um, so the yin is gentle, the yang is more fiery and passionate. Um, you're really having to dive into that. And I feel like what it is, is it's, it's finding it for you. You need to find what drives you. You need to find your passion. That's going to lead you to your treasure island. Okay, like treasure island is everything you wished for, right? You just have to go the distance with it. Okay, so you just need to keep moving and keep pursuing um, and moving ahead with it. Very good overall energy, Pisces. I like this so far. So let's go ahead and get a story. Um, what was I going to say? Please do like. I do appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up button. Don't just say, oh yeah, I like this video. Hit that little thumbs up button, okay? Um, it helps to support the channel. I like to see that you guys enjoyed it too. Please remember that energies maybe change. So we'll see. I try to do it for Pisces, for you, but it is a general reading. So let's get some cards. Let's see what Pisces needs to think about in September. Hmm. Ooh, okay, just a second. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how I do this, I don't lay cards out. I do this sometimes for personals, um, but I am led in a different way. I call it like freestyle. I don't know what it is. Um, as the cards come out and where they fall and how they fall is how I'm guided to read them. So um, it might be a little bit different than what you're used to. That's fine. Different is good. So um, it's just how I'm guided to do it. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, guys. Okay, so Queen of Swords. So I feel that you are definitely in your um, very intellectual and organized and um, honest way of thinking, right? You're being logical and analytical and you're sort of cutting away fears okay you're you're conquering um anything that may have been trying to distract you mentally okay so you're planning um you're taming the mind and you're releasing the past okay and this has turned your seven of cups upside down so it's um there was too much going on um and I feel that you need to make sure that um, you, you avoid temptation with this, okay? So even though you're like really finding your power, I feel that you're still being tested um, in ways just to make sure that you stay away from illusions and diversions, okay? So I feel like you're going to be sort of diverting, but you have this yang card, right? So this is like, it's like, keep going hard work, right? Eight of Pentacles, keep moving forward. Um, this is your best card for moving forward, okay? You're using your skills to advance, you might be finding a new path or finding a new purpose, okay? Um, your everything is improving, okay, uh, for you here. And look, here you have the King of Wands. So maybe you're calling in your, you know, fiery, but, um, but passionate, but balanced king, right? Um, he's courageous and loves a challenge, but is confident. Um, maybe uh, very physical, but also balanced, okay? This is not a, and I have the feeling like this is, you're, by finding and creating this energy, you're calling in your king of wands, right? Now, here's the thing. So the Page of Pentacles in reverse, I find that when you call in this King of Wands, there is some stuff that's going to come up from your past. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. 
is because you have this moving away, I don't get the feeling, I feel like this is one part, and when this happens, right, this is like leading you to your treasure island. I feel like this is part of your go the distance. So this is stuff you're gonna have to get over. You have your page of pentacles in reverse. So it's, um, you may feel, um, you may be disappointed um, in something. What are you disappointed in? Five of Swords. You're disappointed in some sort of a fight. guys I'm waiting for something to come in it's like all just scattered right now so just a second hmm okay there's still something in your energy that's very deceptive. It's unbalanced and it's causing loss. I don't think this is you, but you have to walk away from it. Because you're gonna have to make the judgment call and you have to leave this deception. You have to leave this, this thievery, right? I don't know if they're physically stealing from you or if they're emotionally stealing from you because Pisces, you're, um, you can be quite intuitive. So you might have somebody that's just in your energy just to take. Look at this. They're just taking and taking and taking, right? Swords are about communication and intellect. It's about truth and fairness, and they're stealing that. They're stealing your justice. There's somebody in your energy that is stealing your justice. I don't think it's this King of Wands. Let's clarify. Okay, clarify the King of Wands. Who is this King of Wands? Yeah, so this King of Wands is, oh, that's too many. This King of Wands is going through their own stuff, okay? They're making a choice to move on. Um, they also might travel, but they're actually escaping um, their own, they're, they're deep down, they, I think they appear as a king, but they have a queen or else they have a queen of cups in reverse that they've dealt with. So they might actually be codependent and they might be coming in and actually trying, they might be stealing all of your, your mental and emotional stuff away from you. Huh. So, okay, put this aside. Let's clarify Treasure Island. Why is Treasure Island here? Because I get the Yang. We have so much Yang going on here. We have Yang coming out of the Yang, right? So let's see what's going on with Treasure Island. Yeah, you have the Devil in Reverse and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, once you move away from this energy, okay, the Devil in Reverse, you need to, you're letting go of something. You're recovering from some sort of bad relationship. I don't know if this king might have been a part of it. Uh, king of Wands, it's a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sag, um, doesn't have to be. Um, but, but he's not in reverse, but the queen of cups is, so they're definitely emotionally immature. Okay. So could be a water sign too. Okay. Uh, but this devil is in reverse and you're five of pentacles. So you're going to be moving away and walking away from, um, financial matters, right? You have to let go of fear. Okay. You have to let go of this devil, whatever this devil, and then you're going to be having your treasure island, but you got to get out of this. So whoever's affecting your health, your stability, right? Yeah, look, the four of cups. So the universe is handing you a cup. Don't be stubborn, okay? This person might be stubborn too, right? They might be very stubborn and cutting off 
um, energy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, um, clarify Treasure Island more, please. So you need to walk away from this. You need to cut that double loose. You need to cut the ties that bind. Yeah. King of Cups in reverse. They're no good for you. Okay. They're emotionally uh, manipulative. Okay. They're moody. Okay. Just let it go. You just got to get away, right? Um, you need to let go of the situation. It's over. How do we get to go the distance? Please clarify go the distance. Yeah, so this is a, okay, so this is a bridging card, okay? When you release this, you're going to get, so the Page of Cups is um, about new love, um, but make sure that it's a good offer, okay? Um, now, who knows? This person, like I said, like something might come in Actions over words. Always. Actions over words. Always. King of Swords. Yeah. So you're moving from a queen to a king. You're going to like take that extra boss up stuff and you're going to own it. And also, so guys, you have the king and the queen. This could also lead you to who you're supposed to be with. These are divine counterparts. Just because it's a man and woman. Okay, if you are LGBTQ+, I always get them mixed up. My kids make fun of me. Um, no disrespect. Um, um, it, it, it's just two divine energies that are meant to be together. Okay, so keep in mind, tarot is very old. So um, maybe there's another deck that's, um, that's more, you know, gender and uh, neutral and more um, open, right? So love is love, right? So justice, justice. So you're finally going to be getting justice in this situation. Okay, so you're going to be finding your king of swords. You're, you're going to be having, right, everything. Everything's going to go so good for you. You have to release this devil. You have to get rid of all of this negative stuff. Anybody who is stealing your mind, you need to cut out. I just was told to look at the bottom of the deck. You have the sun, the sun, the knight of pentacles, the star, the ace of swords, the empress. Oh my God. Look at this. This is the happiest card on the deck. Treasure Island, right? Go to the distance, create new, right? Ace of swords, you're going to be victorious. The star, all of your wishes, all of your hopes, all of your dreams. And you have this stable knight coming in, okay? Um, not quite a king and it doesn't move fast so you're gonna have to have patience but you know what it's gonna be this beautiful stable loving uh, warm safe secure relationship it's gonna be gorgeous guys it's gonna be good let's get an uh, energy curve for you make the choice right actions over words right? If somebody wants to be with you, they will be with you. And that's just the way it is. If they really want to be with you, they'll be with you. Okay. It's, it's a harsh reality, right? Angel of miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. So no matter what happens, right? Miracles do happen. Right, we have a few. Uh, we have a few very trying cards over here, and we have a few very um, toxic energy cards. If this King of Cups does transform into a Page and become a King of Swords, okay, actions, okay, make sure that there's actions. Um, if this is somebody new coming in, take it easy. Right, actions. Watch for their actions, not their words. Okay. Um, anybody can say whatever they want. I'm a hippopotamus, right? Doesn't make me a hippopotamus, right? You can say whatever you want, okay? Angel of miracles, open your heart and expect a miracle. Angels shine a divine light of intelligence made of the highest and purest of the Holy Spirit. Angels bestow gifts and miracles upon you, appearing in many forms. A bird, a butterfly, an animal are the brightest and only flower in blossom. When coincidences, ooh, synchronicities, and miracles start to happen in your life, you know that the angels are with you. 
The angels also assist and guide you during life changes or challenges, comforting you to the next stage of your journey. Anything that is possible with angels, so you can expect a positive outcome knowing the angels have heard your prayers. Mantra, I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Okay, Pisces. Wow. Awesome reading. I will see you for your new moon reading. Believe in miracles. Love you guys.